Today we're doing something that has been on my bucket list since I was back in college. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. My neck's too short. Now this adventure actually started a week ago when we found a last minute one night stay here at the Chai Lai Orchid last night. We boarded an overnight nine hour bus from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. From there, we took a special truck another hour outside of Chiang Mai. And from there, we took another truck to our bungalow. Now before we get too carried away, I wanted to read you guys their ethical elephant statement. So I took a photo of their ethical captive elephant care page in their welcome manual. And you can read the whole thing here on your own, but basically it says that they've rescued 15 elephants. Oh, stand up. Oh God. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, it almost got you though. What is this poisonous? I'll let you know if another one comes through. Yeah, there's another one. What are those things? It basically says the elephants here are trained through positive reinforcement and they're teaching them to respond to voice commands. They also provide all veterinary care for the elephants and cover all costs of the elephants that are still owned by private families. Thank you. Okay. Now before we give you guys a room tour, we're gonna go have happy hour with some elephants. Cheers. Cheers. He eats them so fast. Oh, yeah. happy hour yesterday with the elephants and lots of other people. We had dinner, drinks, dessert, and really just hung out the rest of the night and the elephants pooping. Look at, look at, look at. Back to Deborah. <laughs> now this morning we have one of the biggest highlights of our overnight stay, which is breakfast with the elephants. Thank you. 
think he's supposed to. <laughs> us to go have our breakfast. Now, although we've checked out of our little villa, our adventure here isn't quite over yet. We actually booked a trip to the Karen Longneck Village, so we're gonna go check it out. <laughs> Good job, Tyler. <laughs> Bye, elephant. We made it. Through the uh, zip line to go meet our people. Turns out we just parked at the zip line. The village is actually behind the course, I think. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 27. 30. 30. <laughs> uh, Deborah? What's your name? Mate. Masi? Si. Oh. <laughs> Mate. 51. 51. Oh, dear. Awesome. Okay, okay. Karen Longneck Village was super unique and although it felt a bit touristy with lots of souvenirs in the front we we're just really glad we chose to do it I don't know how else to explain it it was just really nice talking to the ladies there and learning a bit more about their culture it was a little difficult with translate our, our guide didn't really speak much English there was a lot of Google Translate going on what age do they start wearing it <laughs> but it was still really nice to just meet them and chat with them and just learn more about their culture. Before we check out, we wanted to just quickly show you around the rest of the property. The villas that we stayed in were the Garden View Villas. One night stay here at the Chai Lai Orchid was about $60 US. We're gonna give you guys a quick room tour. There isn't too much to see, but we'll do our best to show you guys around. Dun, da, da, da. This is our one room bungalow. The doors don't really close all the way so we do have a lot of bugs coming in and it's very very rustic meaning there's a lot of open spaces and holes in the walls. Over here we have the only place to really put our stuff. We have one table and one chair. We also have our bed with a bug net of course. There is also a uh, random stain that we don't know what it is. We don't have AC but we do have a little fan on the wall and in addition to the little table over there, I have a small nightstand by my side of the bed. Coming over to the only other area in our room is our bathroom. It's a little tight, but it'll do. Got our toilet. This is our shower. We had to go ask the lady how to turn it on because we had no idea. And then if you come around this side, we've got our sink. And that's pretty much it. They do provide towels and some kind of soaps, but nowhere to hang the towels and no labels on the soap, so I don't know what they are. Yeah, that's our room. And up here, they have the Mountain View Villas, which are a bit more private. And then they also have a third area, which is the Riverside Villas. And we haven't seen those yet, 
so I can't really show you those. The rest of the property has been nice. There's like a restaurant, cafe on site with incredible views, and the main office lodge area. Make sure to stay tuned because after our one hour journey back to Chiang Mai, we'll give you guys our full review. So most of you guys, if you've been following along on our videos, know that in each country we visit, we try to do one good deed and give back to the local community or people in some way or another. So here at the Chai Lai Orchid, they actually had a program where you can purchase a meal for refugees and children on the Myanmar-Thailand border. So we did that, we actually raised money over on Instagram, which is why you should follow us because we do more real-time updates there. We raised a little bit of money and we were able to donate 70 meals, so that's pretty cool. Super proud of like you guys coming together and helping us do good things in different places. So yeah, just something good to do if you're here at the Chai Lai Orchid. Bye! <laughs> All right guys, it is a few days after our visit to the Chai Lai Orchid. We had originally planned to do this like the day we had finished our time there, but that night we took a bus to Bangkok, then the next night we took a bus from Bangkok to Laos and we both ended up getting pretty sick. We were just really not feeling well, did not have the energy to do anything. So it's been a few days, but we still wanted to give you guys our honest review of our time at the Chai Lai Orchid. So you want to start? What did you think of it? It's hard for me because I really enjoyed the experience. The experience was definitely like one of a kind because you got to see a lot of the elephants and then like in the morning we got to feed the elephants which was such a cool experience right at our villa so it was just us. The accommodations were a little just not up to par. Very dirty and there was lots of bugs coming in bug net didn't really work. We did wake up with a ton of bug bites on our legs after sleeping there. So other than that, the food, you know, was okay. We don't know if that's where we got our stomach bug. <clears throat> yeah. But the experience itself was definitely worth it. That's basically what I, I would say exactly. The experience was incredible. And the fact that it was $60 you know, it speaks yeah. for itself. You can't expect like a five-star accommodation on that. And to us, at least from the research we did, it seemed like an ethical place that was doing things the right way. They essentially cover all the costs for these elephants from these families, provide them with all the medical attention they need. Overall, I would say just don't expect a lot and you'll have an incredible time. And the elephant experience in itself was incredible and 100% worth it. The last thing I wanted to mention was if you don't book a mountain view one, you actually have to take a ride to like the central resort area, which is where the cafe and like check-in stuff is and the office, and there isn't always a ride. <laughs> they say there is, but it was hard to get a ride sometimes. So just keep those things in mind, but overall, amazing experience. Yeah. I would recommend going just for the elephants. Yeah, it was definitely a bucket list experience for us. So we can't not recommend it. We always appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to see our next adventure. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So I'm super excited to be here experience How are you doing back there, Tyler? Good. I love how she put you in the back. Yeah. <laughs>